Howdy folks, it's Justro at Matt Kyf Mills. We're gonna pick some pears today and wanted to share that with you. The tree's loaded down and we're excited to get them picked. Hope you enjoy it. All right, folks. I got my biggest helper here. Here's the pear tree behind us. We're gonna start picking pears and see how many we can get off. A lot of them's up high. I might get the ladder and try to get some of them, but I can never get them all. There's a few fell out on the ground, and when that happens, we usually just eat them because they'll have a bruise and a rock stuck in them or something like that. So we eat the ones on the ground and can the ones on the tree. And I'll show you this little picker I've got, what we use to pick them with. We can pick these low ones first. The only problem I got was where some might be good stuff to eat. Something good to eat. I don't like that. All of them. Mm -hmm. Well, we might wind up not doing them, but. We got them but like, this is a good size? It's good to have little ones because then you can fit them in the jar better. Oh, yeah. Really, any of them. We can throw them out later. I made that board jump down. I mean, some of them too little, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's pretty good. There's some monsters on here. Oh, yeah, y'all. Yeah, sometimes you can get back and get a different perspective. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this one I found, over here. Oh, well, I didn't even see that. All right, folks, this is a picker I've got. I've had it for several years. And it's a pretty simple thing. The way it works, you just reach up there and these little fingers will pull the fruit off right in this little basket. Now, you can get these at, you probably order them on the internet real easy, but when I was a boy, probably 14 or so, I made one of these things. And it was a little heavier than this one, but what I done was I fastened a big coffee can on the end of a long pole like, handle like this. And I put me a piece of wood on the other side of the coffee can. And I drove some nails in that piece of wood before I put it on the other side of the coffee can. So it had nails sticking up just like this. Worked the same way. You just slip it up on the fruit and pull it off and the fruit would fall right into the coffee can. I picked cherries with it. I made, you know, I put the nails close enough together so I could get reach up and get cherries out of a, a high tree. But this is a lot lighter and works a lot better. It's got a two-piece handle here that's bolted together with this ferrule. And you can reach up pretty high with it. I'll show you. See there how that works? A lot of times what will happen is if you ain't real careful, when you pull a pear off the tree, you'll shake the tree and shake other pears off. So what I try to do is be real easy and try to select the pears that I want to get where it ain't going to shake the rest of them too bad. You gotta be real easy and not bruise them. That's the main thing. Can you zoom up there and see them? Good? See that big one right there? Just slip that behind there like that. Pull it off. See there? It oh. knocked that one off. It hit on the ground, so we might be able to get it. There's a big one right in there. Can't really get in there to it to get it. Now right there's what you call a trick. That's a trick. Right in the bucket? I don't know. I think it rolled out. I think that's it rolling down through there. Up on them barrels, drink the water. Yeah, yeah, getting up on top of them. I had that number four from it. Just hold your hand on the way Well, right now, our biggest gun is the one that I found. Oh, really? Yeah. I see a big 
Acting like he's trying to tear it up. He knocks that fruit down. Apparently. Crazy thing. Bear, you going and trying to turn into a health nut? Huh? I think it's that line going through this tree is causing it to be, causing it to act like it's dying. Somewhere else. Uh -huh. It was somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I think that's the, the old log they got up at Herbie. Yeah. Oh, the chill is for us. It's like fall's coming. It is. I'm glad. It was fall. Yeah, I love it when the leaves fall and get all over the ground and it's so brown. And not, I don't even know. I just think it's pretty. Like, I know some people say it's depressing because, like, everything's, like, dying and stuff, but I don't see it like that. I think it's pretty when the leaves are on the ground and they're falling and the wind blows and a bunch of leaves are falling out. It's so pretty. And then you're riding down the road and the leaves behind your car go flying out. Oh, it's great. You can wear sweaters and cozy clothes and oh, so much fun. So excited. It's about time for me and Char to drink hot chocolate. Hot chocolate again. season. Uh -huh. We're gonna go see Mr. Christmas this year. Yeah. I like that place. It's a good place. Like it's a nice drive over there and stuff. Uh-huh. Hope I saved the phone number. Summer and spring went by fast. It just flew off. Because it feels like it was just yesterday when it was Christmas time and stuff. And that. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, something I wanted to point out that I forgot to earlier. It's best if you just pick one fruit at a time because if you pick more, when you pull it off, it'll slam down into the next one and it'll bruise them both. So... I try if I can just to pick one at a time. It's more trouble, but you wind up with better. Right, take care, take care of what you're picking better. about it because I couldn't even remember. Didn't Nanny used to can pears mm -hmm. or did she freeze them? She canned them. I guess she done both really. Because I think I can't remember eating pears. I remember eating froze peaches and eating pears sometimes. And because I thought this was going to be our first year doing anything with pears. And I can't remember. Yeah, Nanny always done it. This, this is This is the most pears this tree's ever had on it. I hit on the soft ground. I ain't worried about them being too bruised. But. That's a nice one. 
Get that thing while it's flying in the air. Gotta grab them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big one, but I don't think it's as big. One can be yours, one can be mine. We can sign both up. And bumblebee dogs on duty. She's get after the bumblebees, trying to protect us so we won't get stung. Skit it, Penny. Skit, girl. She's a four-legged tire, ain't she, James? Skit it, girl. Skit it, girl. Pear. What are you doing? Huh? You been eating pears? Hmm? You been eating them? Hmm? I was... I was just... Been eating pears? Yeah? You old pear-picking dog? That was good. Yeah. Penny. Skit it, girl. Go get it. Let's go get it. both have a big fire and we won't have to hike it, will we? Nope. We can do them. Bear? What are you doing? Oh, them together.
No, ma'am. Sorry, Banner. Oh, that's a big one. I'm barely seeing them in here where I'm at. These are a little bigger. I'm sure there's some big ones like this. See if I can put that camera in here. Where I can look up at what I'm doing. Maybe. Oh, gosh. More if not, I can't reach. Yeah. We'll just have to wait for them to fall and uh, pick them up, I guess. So if they're over there, won't they land on that box? I don't understand these little bumblebees. It's too little to fly. Are they raising bumblebees on the pears? Or? They couldn't do that. A lot of them's too too little to fly. Really? Here, over here's a little bird nest. Where? A little teeny one right here on this limb of that pear tree. See it right there? Aww. I don't know if it's a hummingbird or what. Wonder if we could peek up there and see. Uh, they might have raised in the spring. It might be an old nest. All right, folks, you can see right here, we got five buckets plus some here to eat on off of the ground and some great old big ones here. Virginia's got the record there. Nope, this one's the record. Well, there's the record. You can see how a monster that is. We got a lot of good pears to can here. There's still plenty up here that we can't even get to because they're too high up. Look at that. You have to have a bucket truck to get them, I guess. A ladder, a pear tree, the way it's made, you can't hardly get a ladder up in it like you can a apple tree, per se, but they grow up. Look at that. I might reach some of them right there with the picker. I won't be able to reach none of them up towards the top, them high ones up there. Did you see we got a good power harvest and I wanted to show you in something else right here. While I got your attention looking at the pear tree. Right here. See we got these lines, these electrical lines here. Goes down to my grandparents' house. And you see, see this dead right here? See that dead limb? And they, all them dead leaves right in there? Well, that's right where that power line goes through the tree. That current moving through there, I reckon, does something to the tree and causes it to do that. So, just if you set a tree out, make sure it ain't under a line because I guess we just didn't think about this power tree getting that tall and that being a problem when we decided to set it out there. But that was 
uh, 25 years ago, but you can see how many pears is up in there. It's just absolutely loaded. So we're gonna get these in the house. Get the peeler on them, get them peeled and a knife and try to can these babies. Well, we got a good pear harvest. I think four or five buckets of pears and we're going to get them fixed and can them. And yes, we're going to share that with you. We'll be doing that here in the next day or two. So you can look for that. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you ain't already. Tell your friends about me. If you can get your hands on some pears, go pick them. This is Justro at Metcalf Mills. Look forward to seeing you next time.